It's the evening of Thorlaugsmessa, St. Thorlaugsmass, which is the 23rd of, of December. And this is, and I'm in downtown Reykjavik, and this is the traditional last minute shopping evening in downtown Reykjavik. Uh, nowadays, of course, everybody goes to the shopping malls, and everything is open far into the evening throughout most of December anyway. But this used to be the, that last chance to go shopping in Reykjavik before Christmas. So shops were, were open and everything was open until 11 or so in the, in the evening. So I'm gonna have just a quick stroll around, quick stroll around, just a walk around downtown Reykjavik on the evening of, of Thorlaugsmessa. Just see what's going on. Yeah, like I said, of course the, uh, the shopping malls have, have pretty much taken over shopping in, in Reykjavik. So not that many people come downtown anymore except tourists. Uh, the weather might also have an effect today because it's, it's cold, it's windy, and it's really icy and slippery. But I think that just makes it more kind of a cozy, wintry thing to do, right? This is the so-called Oslo tree outside of the uh, Parliament building, downtown Reykjavik. It's a gift of, of the city of Oslo to the city of Reykjavik. Like a, what do you call those? Like a, a, a twin, twin city with Reykjavik. The funny thing is, these trees used to come from Norway. Of course, that doesn't make any sense nowadays to ship an entire tree from Norway to Iceland. So this is actually grown in, in Hedmark, just 15 kilometers outside of Reykjavik to the east. So the Norwegian tree given to Iceland by the nation of, or by the inhabitants of Oslo, is actually grown in Iceland. There is this pretty nice virtual scavenger hunt all over downtown where there are these projections of images of the of the Yule Lads and you can search around downtown fun for the whole family to uh, to uh, to have a stroll downtown and try to see if you can find them all at the at the far end from off Östersreiti from from uh, Jólakötturinn at, at Lækjar, Lækjar Torg there is of course Ingolstorg uh, which is the square on the other side and I think they've actually set up like a Ice skate rink there. Uh, some small kiosks with glue wine and those kind of things. And I think you can you can hear that by the by the noise that there's a little bit of more activity on on that side. So let's have a look at that as well. Everybody, take a with you. Come on, Guinness World Record. One, two, eight, go, eight. Like I said, it's a little bit about you on this side. Okay, the cold is not keeping people away from the, from the skating rink, which is absolutely packed. So I'm gonna head back now, back to the other side and walk up the hill, up Leroy, the main shopping street, and see what's going on there. It seems practically all of the foot traffic is concentrated to the main thoroughfare. Uh, the old shopping street which leads up the hill and down the Österstrade uh, which is that walking square towards uh, 
armor building and, and down there. In other places, it looks quite, quite empty at the moment. This part of town with, uh, well, close to, to the Harpach concert hall and the exhibition center and, and just these buildings around me at the moment, they all feel so weird to walk through or walk past because this is such a recent addition to town. Uh, it's well, buildings which have been built in the past 10 years or so or less than that and partially on a landfill so there wasn't even land there previously so it always feels like a new kind of strange ghost towny part of Reykjavik. My voice is captured by the microphone at all but sounds strange it's because I am figuratively freezing my ass off literally just really 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 cold you know? my lips are numb my nose is numb it's only minus three or four degrees celsius but there is both moisture and a bit of wind chill so it it's really nippy yeah okay this is turning into the more traditional downtown of Þorlásmessu kvöld the evening of Þorlásmessa plenty of people and it's getting to be a little crowded here. This is Bankastræti, the bottom most part of Laugavegur, the shopping street. But uh, so we're just almost to the intersection to Skólaugurdastjúr, or the Rainbow Street, which people start calling it in later years. Healthy reminder of the of the, well, message of Christmas, right? Peace and neighborly love. It's a pretty nice view walking up the, the street with the Christmas decorations. Hallgrimskirkja, the, the cathedral at the top, is, is adorned in this, this purplish light, which I hope the camera manages to capture. It's quite nice, it looks wintry and, and yeah, and nice. often walk past this stone building here at the, uh, the lower part of Skolaverstjör, this, this street, Rainbow Street, which leads up and down the hill. Few people probably realize that this used to be a jail and not, well, until just very recent times. So this was still used as one of Reykjavik's principal jails when I was a, well, a younger man, teenager at least. Don't know how long ago exactly it closed, but it's just a couple of decades ago at most. Ah, let's head back down from, from Skolaur Street, back down to, to Laugavegur, the, the main shopping street, and see if, there's, if there are as many people there. I cannot, well, I was saying earlier that I couldn't feel my, my lips or my nose, and now my fingers have joined that party of no sensation. <laughs> oh, it's too cold, even for me. Changed into a into a live music venue. This used to be be a bookstore. Well, still is, I think, partially. But things change. So there's all these small musical numbers, people performing like carol singers, but not carol singers, you know. Uh, all these small kind of events taking place, events, no, events, events taking place all over downtown. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I take back anything I said or even might have said about things not being crowded enough downtown. It's 
getting absolutely packed. So Leuaveur, the main shopping street, is absolutely packed with people and it's only 8.30. It's gonna remain open for a few more hours and probably it's only gonna get a little more lively in a certain sense at least the further we go into the evening. So some people are here to some people are here to shop, others just to grab a drink. Here's a kebab joint I cannot recommend. Anyway, one of the things that this may be changing with the growing population and the well, bigger influx of course of immigrants in Iceland, which is in and of itself fantastic. One of the things which used to be the case is that when you had these kind of strolls on Thorlaugsmessukvöld, the evening of Thorlaugsmessa, uh, you would pretty much see people all over the place just bumping into relatives or friends or somebody you know, just, you know, wishing each other a Merry Christmas and those things because almost everybody knew each other. It's the uh, symptom of, of Iceland still, but maybe becoming a symptom of, of Iceland past. It is getting slightly less lively the, the further up we get, which is just to be expected, further away from proper downtown per se, but there's still quite a lot of people around. Here's an alley which I've never seen before. Interesting. Okay, didn't mean to take you on a my personal discovery tour of anything. <laughs> but this is one of those signs of a gentrifying, gentrifying downtown. Even now, as I am freezing my bits off, there are people having ice cream. Ooh. But here the wind is blowing even harsher and I'm just getting really cold. So, we've had a little stroll up Lööver, had a look at the uh, well, what it looks like in downtown Reykjavik on, on the eve of the Mass of St. Thorlogur, Thorlogsmessa, the 23rd of December. So I'll just say, see you in the next one and, and Merry Christmas.